Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. After having a discussion with you guys about perfume, I thought that uh, we came to kind of an agreement that yes, we should do a project perfume. So here we go. We're starting off the year with some perfumes. If you saw my gold video, you know in 2022, I want to use one fluid ounce of fragrance. And this is gonna help me out with that <laughs> significantly, significantly. Um, I did kind of specify that I wanted it in one bottle, like one one ounce bottle, but I think that I've got some ways to work around that a little bit. So let me show you all the perfumes I'm going to be using. Um, this is going to go through May. So I've picked fragrances that are winter to spring appropriate. I did not pick any like straight summer slash fall scents to me. So I did want to make sure that I got like a seasonal range of fragrances, um, which I know sounds weird, but that's the way I wear fragrance. Sometimes I go seasonal, sometimes I don't. Well, I don't always go seasonal. I mostly go seasonal, but sometimes if I have like a super fresh scent, I'm not going to want to wear that in November, you know, but I'll wear that in like April. I don't, it's just in my head, it makes more sense probably than to you guys, but just roll with me. Thank you for rolling with me. Okay. I also wanted to make sure I used a lot of these mini sprayers. I get <laughs> these guys often. Um, Ulta gives these as gratis. Um, also, like, I, I get some for free from Ulta. Like, if it's not quote unquote in gratis, but it's a scent I want to try, like, I'll grab one if I make a purchase that week or whatever. So, um, yeah. I don't remember where I got all of these. I feel like they just kind of keep growing. And I want to go through, you know, fizz them out <laughs> before May. In no particular order, let's go through these. Um, I do have two Valentinos, actually. Let's just get those out of the way. I've got Valentina Vove Vicha. This is one of their new ones, I believe, that they just launched. It's one that we started carrying not too long ago. This is, like, great for winter, I feel like. This is, like, a February. This is a romantic scent to me. It's a little bit sweeter, but I'm excited to give that one a try. I also have Born in Roma. By Valentino. I get a little bit sweeter floral type of range. If you like Mont Paris, I think you'll like that one. Um, if you like um, Caroline Herrera, the good girl sense, especially very good girl, I think you'll like Valentino. They're in the same family for me. It's a little sweet, little floral, like uh, just a good like floral note in there. It's not super sweet. It's not like cloud by Ariana Grande, there's definitely floral in mixed in. Um, this one is Vera Wang Embrace. This is just very, very fresh. This is what I mean, like, to me this smells a little like clean laundry. Like, it's good for April, it's not great for <laughs> September. This is Raw Spirit Mystic Pearl. I actually don't think I've ever sprayed this one. It smells okay. It's going to be on that fresh side. If you like the smell of cotton, this is one that I would probably recommend. It's in that family. Omni Paraba. Got that floral. This one has like a must note to it, which makes it a little bit deeper. Yeah, it, I smell like lilies in it. I didn't look up any of the scent notes, as you can tell. I just go with what my nose says. Um, this is Aqua Di... Okay. Is it Aqua Di Show or Aqua Di Gallo? Which one is it? Please let me know. Please let me know. Um, this is by Giorgio Armani. It's the original. I have a one ounce of this. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I, I call it Aqua Show. Like, that's how I pronounce it. But some of the other days said Aqua de Gallo because it's G-I-O-I-A. I don't know. But that, to me, this is a spring scent. This one is going to have like a water note to it. It actually leans to me a little bit more towards summer, but I think in May that's going to want to be what I want to use because I already have the full size of it, so, you know. Speaking of Good Girl, I've got Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This is a jasmine-based scent. I find it very sexy, but still work appropriate. Good for Valentine's Day-ish. Um, Angel Nova by Moogler. I've already purchased a rollerball of this one as well. Again, this is going to be on that sweeter side of floral. Um, this kind of goes in the same range of, like, the Valentinos for me, or the Montpourri, which is really, like, that's my home spot. Like, that's, that's, like, the area I really like to be in. I like to have a sweet floral. I will tend to go towards, like, an Aqua Show for, like, the summer. 
And to me, it's just because it's so light. It's not a scent that's going to be like sticky on you. It's going to be this light, airy feel about it. I like that. The Guerlain Paris by Mon Guerlain. This is a straight up floral. Um, it does have a little deepness to it to make it stay. But to me, I just smell like a flower shop. <laughs> not bad. It's just a flower shop. Um, this is by Ellis Brooklyn. This is the shade, the scent, not the shade. So sweet. So sweet. You can probably guess what this smells like. Smells sweet. This is my stickiest sweet one that I've got at the moment. You smell that vanilla in it. You smell like a little cupcake out of it. Yeah, maybe a hint of almond as well in that vanilla. But overall, good scent. It's a little bit thicker. That's going to be a winter one that I'm going to want to use. And then I've got, by the brand Clean, I've got Amber Saffron. This is not one I normally go for. This is a spicy scent. Amber is one of those scents that you either like love or hate. And so I've decided that I'm going to see if it works for me. I don't, I don't know. I don't really lean towards spicy scents. Like sometimes people tell me that they want to smell like patchouli. That is not a scent that I am particularly drawn to, although I understand why some people are drawn to that scent. Um, so anything with amber or patchouli in it, I tend to stay away from. But something about this one smells okay. I like it enough to keep it. But I'm intrigued to see when I try it on, like, how it meshes with my particular, like, you know, body chemistry. And then, last but not least, I've got three scent birds. The scent birds go bad. They've been, like, you know, distilled into the actual, like, these types of guys. So, I want to use these before they go bad. Um, and this is how I'm getting around that one ounce. Because each of these should be just under 0.33 ounces. Um, I, in my head, they say that they're 0.2 like 0.27 but if you look at them they're all a little different in height <laughs> isn't that funny I don't know if it's evaporation it could be evaporation like I've had these and they've traveled from Germany back here so like I won't be surprised if some of them evaporated a little bit but um it's not one full fluid ounce I'm gonna call this in my head if I have these three I just need one more rollerball gone and then that's my one ounce hey now because the rollerball should be about 0.33. So if these are, you know, about 75-ish, maybe with a little evaporation in there, add a 0.33 on top, that's my one ounce. So the three that I have chosen for this one is Primrose Wild Child. This is your sweet floral once again. I smell more of a floral, this is sweet, but it does have a touch of probably bergamot at the bottom of it. We'll see. This one is also an eau de parfum, which I like, um, because the other two are toilettes. I didn't realize they were toilettes when I picked them up, and I think that's sometimes what Scentbird gets you. Like, I wasn't paying attention if it was a toilet or perfume. I would have probably liked perfumes a little bit better. But I've got Anna Sweet, The Fight of Flans Fancy. These are all in the same, like, category for me. And then Victor and all Flower Bombs, but again, the eau de toilette. Um, flower Bomb is one of my favorite scents ever. <laughs> and I know it's totally a basic scent, but I absolutely adore it. Um, I think the bonbon is not my favorite, like the flower bomb, like the original flower bomb, the one that looks like the grenade. That is where I'm at. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to use all of these by May, hopefully. Um, I don't remember exactly when in May I'm ending it. I'll let you know when we do the ending in May. <laughs> but yeah, I think I can go through them pretty well. I do think it's a bit um, adventurous for me to do so many scents. So we're going to see, like, if I have to declutter any of those. These take me about two weeks to use up. A week to two weeks, depending on how much the sprayer pulls out of it. So if I think about it, I should have four empties per month. And then each of these takes about a month to use up. So did I give myself a challenge? You betcha I did. <laughs> because I got to use up all those minis in two and a half months with the big guys ending in May. So let's get to it. Let's start spraying. I gotta put one on today and see what I think about it. And yeah, I'm so excited to be painting perfumes with you. But what I really want to know is what is your favorite scent? Do you have like a scent family you like or do you have a particular scent that is like your classic one and done scent that you use all the time? Thanks so much. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy painting and I will see you in my next video.